Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and yes, I do have a Garmin GPS that I still use when we're going camping with our Airstream. Why? Because most of the apps that I use on my phone do not work when I am in the mountains or in a backcountry road where I do not have self-signal. That's where my new toy comes in. Yes, I went out and bought a Garmin RV770. When I get back, we're going to open this thing up. We're going to take a look at what's inside, what comes with it, and we're going to boot it up, and we're going to take a look at how it works. Every song, every song, listen to the camp start singing our song. Every song, every song, we are the Airstream Nerds. All right, so we start off with the GPS itself. This is the front. This is just protective plastic on it. This is the back. Now there is a difference with the way that um, it attaches. Um, you have, here's the power cord. They have a slot for a memory card right there. So you can have more map data. So on my previous GPS, they have these, they have a mount. So this gets mounted to the mounting point inside the vehicle. Um, and then it's magnetic. So when you go to take your GPS off, it sticks to this. And I really like this, the way that it, it does that. Well, they've changed it on this RV one. So now the back of it is a round slot, no magnetic part. So it's got a little tab. The little tab goes in there and then it just snaps in just as easy. Um, but I prefer the magnetic thing just because I thought that was pretty pretty cool. Uh, maybe there was an issue with the contacts or something over time. I haven't had that problem, but maybe other people have. Um, so they did switch that up. It's the same size ball. So if you already have a mount for an old GPS, the ball is the same. I've already test fit it. Um, it snaps right into my current mount that I got from ProClips, and I'll put a link to that um, down below. Um, it does, however, also come with a suction cup type mount, a, the actual plug um, for power for in the vehicle, which I'm not sure if they currently still do, but the older um, ones, the antenna for the uh, live traffic updates is contained in this. Um, a small, um, short little USB cable for programming it, and a manual. That's all that comes in the box. So let me get this thing set up, and we will take a look and see what it looks like. So here we are plugged in, getting it set up. Now this is the first time I've seen it, so I haven't done any run-throughs to check this out. So you're seeing it as I see it. So we're going to pick this stuff. We're going to accept all the end-user license agreements. We're going to hit Agree. So once you get through all of that stuff, you're going to select your current vehicle. Um, we're going to say we have a trailer. We're going to give the max height 12.5. We're going to give the max width 8.6. Total length 55 feet. And I typed this over, but the suction cup released and the thing fell over. So I've already typed that in. Um, I'm going to get actual numbers for all of this. But we're in the 12,000 to... 14,000 range when um, both vehicles are, are hooked up in full. Um, so that's what we're looking like. Um, I'm not sure if you can change the way it looks. Probably you can. Um, I'm not stressing over that right now. I'm going to select that. And then you go into the Garmin, the normal Garmin um, view. Um, you pull up the map view. Um, this will do travel history, which is nice, um, especially if you if you go to the same places lots of times. It'll keep it'll keep um, um, tracking that stuff. Um, so we're gonna select yes. You can change some of these, um, not all of them. So you could do your grade and your elevation um, instead of that. You could also do um your trip data on the side there so it tells you how long you've been moving 
um, your miles per hour, how, your trip meters, um, and you have two different ones you can add. You can, we can switch to B. We can put the directions up there. So you can do all that stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, you can hit the X to do the trip data. Um, when you're driving, you can zoom in, zoom out just by doing that or hitting the, the buttons here. Um, like I showed you before, you hit the speed and that gives you all the, the location, um, all the information you need while you're driving down the road. Um, let's go and pick a place. So if you're going to go to, to if you're going to go somewhere, you can just enter a search. So let's say, let's say, uh, seven and, it, and it, it'll complete it. So you don't have to type as much as you're driving down the road. So now it's going to tell me where the seven elevens are. Um, the closest ones to me or Let's see what else we have here. So if we go back here, so let's say we want to find the closest gas station. So just hit hit that the different um, trip advisor restaurants that are in the area. Now again, if you keep this thing updated, it does a pretty good job of of giving you the closest information, but it's not a hundred percent. That's why I also use my. Um, my ways and 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 Google Maps apps. Um, so let's go ahead and put it in the truck and let's see what it looks like. All right, so I have the GPS installed on the same mount that I had my other one using the same ball. Like I said, um, the only thing that I need to do is I had I had the power for the other one wired in down here. Um, so I've got to. Um, I'm not a hundred percent since there's this one's so much bigger. I'm not 100% that they are the exact same power cords. So I've got to get in there and, and, and check before I swap them out. So um, for right now, I'm just going to leave the wire hanging there. Um, it does, oops, did not mean to, did not mean to hit the buttons, but it, it, it rotates and it turns. So um, it actually fits in this spot quite nicely fills it out the other one didn't fill it out this is the garmin rv 770 i really like it um it like I, it uses the same garmin that i'm used to so i know the nuances sometimes the maps aren't completely up to date um, especially in new areas where there's new construction but i tend to keep these i'll update it right before i leave on a trip so it will have the latest map stuff if you have any comments or questions please post them below hit the like button, hit subscribe. Once again, this is Jeff from Interstream Nerds, and I'll see you on the next trip.